Hello, my name is Ron Newton. I live here in London, Arkansas. And to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm a full-time bladesmith. I've been very blessed. In the year 1998, I received my journeyman smith title. In the year 2000, I received my master smith title. And in 2012, I received my grandmaster smith title. I am a full-time bladesmith. And something that really excites me is having the opportunity the last couple of months to co-design with the Burke King staff some new attachments. These attachments are very exciting for a couple of reasons. They save me a lot of time, but they don't forfeit quality. They speed up a lot of processes, and they don't forfeit the quality. Actually, they've made the quality better in a lot of applications that I can use this setup in, these accessories. And uh, what I'd like to do is allow my friends to show you in this video how to set up these accessories, how to use them, and talk about some of the different things you can do with these new accessories. Hi, I'm Paul Holly, and I'm with Burger King Manufacturing. And today we're gonna to do a short video on how to install the articulating arm receiver bracket. So with a little assistance from Keith Deleen, we'll get this mounted up and show you the best way to go about this operation. Take the contact wheel off. We'll remove the wheel guard and the work rest and work rest support arm. Okay, we're going to use a 9 16th wrench, loosen up the C face, pivot this back to where we can really see what we're doing, have it standing straight up and down. Snug your bolts. So once you start to place the bracket into place. You want it to where the bottom side of the bracket is going to be flush with the end of the frame. So that's what we're using the square for. And then we're going to line it up to where it's even with the side of the frame. And once we get it lined up there, you want to kind of hold it in place. Okay, with the Sharpie and having everything lined up, you can see where we've marked our three spots. And in these locations, we're going to have to drill a couple holes and tap those holes out. Uh, you'll want to drill this out to where you can tap it for a quarter 28. Times three. So we're going to use a punch to give us a starting point. And we're going to use a number three bit to drill these holes out. Try to keep the drill nice and straight. With your number three drill bit, you're going to want to drill approximately three quarters of an inch deep down into the frame before we start to tap. Okay, now that we've got our number three holes drilled out, 
we're going to use a quarter 28 tap and a little bit of cutting oil and tap out these three holes. Now you'll want to make sure that you run your tap down to the bottom so that you have plenty of threads for the bolts to hold the bracket in place. Okay, the hardware that you need to attach this bracket comes supplied with it. Okay, so we've successfully installed our articulating arm receiver bracket. When you install this receiver bracket, you want to make sure that the side of the bracket is flush with the contact wheel side of the frame. You can look down through here and there's a couple bosses that it lines up with nice and smooth through there. Any machine that is produced after 2017 will have the three holes already drilled into the back side of the frame so you would not have to worry about doing it on newer modeled machines. You can take the receiver arm now, slide it in place, and set it up to whichever position works well for the way you want to use it. There's multiple different positions that you can line this up to use it in. There's a locking mechanism on the underneath side that will lock the articulating arm in place. That locking mechanism can be moved to the side of the machine also. If you have any questions when installing the articulating arm, please feel free to call Burger King at 1-800-621-2748.